Reading Pioneers is proud to present Stories of the Red Rat and the Red Hen, Volume 7, written by Linda von Warburg. The Red Rat Gives Presents The Red Rat is excited. I made presents to give all the rodents, he says. Wisdom cards. The hen says, that was thoughtful. You made a potful. How did you make them? I ripped paper into rectangles, the rat says. Then I cut out wisdoms and glued one on each card. Then I painted them with finger paints. I made a big mess. Creativity is not tidy, says the hen. We can clean it up again. What a lovely card collection! Where did you find so much wisdom? The rat says, I got the wisdoms from magazine pages. Wisdoms of the ages. For all ages. When the whole world is silent, even one voice becomes powerful. Malala. I chose this for the kangaroo rat because he is brave and compassionate. Do I not destroy my enemies when I make them my friends? Abrahamster Lincoln. This one is for the chinchilla because it has the word enemy. What it means, says the hen, is that when you befriend your enemy, you no longer have an enemy. That is good advice for the chinchilla, not for me, says the rat. There is nothing in which rodents more betray their character than in what they laugh at. Johann Wolfgang von Gopher. I made this one for the lemmings because they laugh at everything. Everything is hard before it is easy. Johann Wolfgang von Gopher. This one is for the beaver. He is having trouble learning to paddleboard. Integrity has no need of rules. Alberat Camus. This one is for the wharf rat. He does not like rules either. Let us be grateful to the mirror for revealing to us our appearance only. Samuel Rattler For the popular squirrels, I made one with mirrors because they love to admire their exteriors. Nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Mousy Curry I made this one for the Dormouse violinist. Because he is the timidest, he must try the hardest to be courageous. I made wisdom cards for everyone. The trash collector, the bus inspector, the street sweeper, the manhole keeper, the doctor, the dentist, and the stuffed bear. Now, I'm going out to pass them out. Off marches the red rat with his basket full of cards. A while later, he skips back in. I'm all done, he says. It was fun. You should see what I got back. Two, I am touched. Ten, thank you so much. Six hugs and a nose rub. A ton of smiles, the real kind. Twenty-five high fives. One, this means a lot. And one, aren't you a sweetheart? It is all in this basket. It's for you. The red rat hands the basket to the hen. 
He hops and skips. You probably thought that I forgot, he says. Ha ha! I have a present for you, after all. The red hen looks into the basket. Then she says, Never have I ever seen such a wonderful present as this basket of happiness. It is the best present in the whole world. I feel as happy as can be. Now let's sit by the fireplace and have hot chocolate and cinnamon toast. While we thread cranberries on this string, I will tell you about the bear who was a marmot king. The red rat sees spots. There is a new rat at school, says the red rat. He has spots. The chinchilla called him Ugly Spotty McSpotty. The hen says, the chinchilla's inner eye looked at unusual and saw ugly. That happens commonly. Now, let's see. Are spots ugly on a pony? A spotted trout? A leopard? An ocelot. That's not the same, says the red rat. Their spots are familiar. Rat spots are peculiar. They could be a sign that his inner self is not like mine. No, says the hen. That is a misconception. All rats are alike within. Spots are nothing more than exterior decor. The rat goes to school and comes home again. He looks grim. The marmot and I, he says, saw the spotted rat cry. We know why. He thinks he is a freak, so we organized Spot Appreciation Week. On Monday of Spot Appreciation Week, the red rat comes to school with aqua spots. The marmot has lime and pink spots. The kangaroo rat has pink and yellow spots. Their gerbil has purple spots. On Tuesday, the dormouse joins in. He plays spots. In the name of love, on his violin. On Wednesday, the wharf rat concludes that voters favor spots. In short order, he gets spots. On Thursday, the popular squirrels agree that fashionistas require spots. The next thing you know, they all have spots. On Friday, guess what? The chinchilla shows up with spots. What happened to Ugly Spotty McSpotty? asks the red rat. The chinchilla says, What a thing to say! I am shocked! You seem to have a problem with spots. I have always liked them lots. The lemmings, of course. Jump right in. Spots are in style. Spots are a thing. Spots, spots, spots. Of spots we sing. That night, the red rat dreams that he gets a letter from the giant rat of Sumatra. It says, Good on you. Sincerely, the giant rat of Sumatra. What a nice letter. What a nice dream. The end. Think it through, kangaroo. Thank you, pioneers, for reading with us today to the book Stories of the Red Rat and the Red Hen, Volume 7. 
by Linda Von Warburg. My question to all of you readers is what words of wisdom are the most important to you? Comment below your wisdoms. It's okay if it's the same from the book. My wisdom for you all is to follow Linda on her own YouTube channel, where she also reads her books. I highly recommend visiting her channel because listening to a book being read by the author can give you more insight into how the book was intended to be interpreted. You can also follow Linda on Amazon and purchase your copies of her books to read in your personal library. Both links are available in the description box down below. If you have a book you'd like to be read on this channel, please send me an email, contact at readingpioneers.com, and we can turn it into the next read aloud. Also, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to stay updated when the next video gets published. Unfortunately, this is it for today. While waiting for the next upload, you can check out the stories of the Red Rat and the Red Hen, Volume 6, over here on the left, and Part 1 of Volume 7 on the right. Thanks again, readers, for joining us today, and I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.